Want to know how to grow a lemon tree in a container where you can do this? What is up everybody? It's Justin here at SK Greenhouse and today I wanted to talk about how to grow a Meyer lemon tree in a container. We've had this one for a couple of years. It's time to repot it and I thought today would be an excellent opportunity to teach you about how to grow these lemon trees in containers. So what we have here is an improved Meyer lemon tree. So if you're in the market for a lemon tree, make sure to get the improved version. They have bred out the virus that used to attack the old Meyer lemon trees. So far we have pulled off a dozen lemons off this one tree. And I think I counted, there's at least 30 more lemons ready to be harvested. And before I pulled them off, I just wanted to show them to you. Now, as you can see, this lemon tree has gotten a little unruly. With the busyness of this year, we didn't exactly prune it the way it should have been. But if you're sitting at home wondering, hey, is this gonna be worth it to grow at my house? Yes, you can keep these things to a more compact size than this. Not to mention the lemons that these trees produce are far better than what you can buy in the grocery store. First things first, we have to find a larger pot than what it's currently in. Next, let's talk about the type of soil that we're gonna use. Lemon trees enjoy slightly acidic soil. That's precisely why we're gonna use some all-purpose potting soil mixed with a little bit of soil conditioner. The soil conditioner contains a little bit of pine bark and that pine bark is acidic, so it's gonna be perfect for our lemon tree. Now, if you have some all-purpose potting soil but you don't have the soil conditioner, you can definitely sub out the soil conditioner for like a cactus and succulent mix. Also, there are companies out there that make specially formulated potting soil for citrus. Make sure the container that you're repotting your citrus tree in has drain holes as citrus loves well-draining soil. Now, right before I repot this thing, it's important to wear gloves as lemon trees have humongous thorns. As a matter of fact, when I was wrestling this lemon tree down here to shoot the video, I failed to put on gloves and my hand basically got impaled. Now for the fun part. This thing is super top heavy. We had to tie it up just to keep it from toppling over. And now I'm gonna wrestle this thing into this container. I love the smell of pine bark. Now normally this is the part where I would tease the roots a little bit, but you know what? This thing is not as root bound as I thought it was. So I'm not gonna mess with the root system. I'm just gonna transplant it straight into the pot. We haven't named this tree. And you know, I love to name my plants because if you name them, they end up doing better. So right down in the comment section, what do you think the name of this tree should be? Now I'm just gonna make sure I'm centered it in the pot. I always make sure the trunk is in the middle cause once it's sitting in the pot, I mean, it's just kind of there. Right before I backfill the soil, you guys know I love Espoma fertilizer products. This is an organic citrus tone that they offer and this is gonna work great for our lemon tree. So I'm just sprinkling in around the root ball. This fertilizer is a five to six. The five is the nitrogen, the two is the phosphorus, and of course the six is the potassium. But also what it's gonna do is help create that acid soil condition. Just gonna finish backfilling the hole, pouring in this potting soil and soil conditioner, and I'm gonna pack it down really tight. That way this thing stays in place. All right, the fertilizer is in and the soil is backfilled. Now, if you didn't want to use or don't have citrus tone fertilizer specifically, you can use blood meal or even chicken manure. Now let's talk about some general care tips. Let's talk about the amount of sun they require. First off, lemon trees need a lot of sun. I'm gonna recommend six to eight hours at least. I already know what you're thinking. I wanted to grow my lemon tree inside. I don't live in Florida or California or a growing zone where you can grow lemon trees outside. 
that's okay. Just bring your lemon tree outside during the seasons that are warm and then make sure to bring it inside when temperatures are dropping down in the 40s. You can definitely grow lemon trees inside and they're gonna do okay, but the problem is they need a lot of light. So if you're growing them inside, definitely make sure they're in a south facing window. And even then the tree might grow and do okay, but you might not get any blooms. Here in zone seven where I'm at in North Carolina, I like to bring this thing out in April and let it grow outside all the way into late November. And then I will bring it inside the house or I'm lucky enough to have a greenhouse. Next, we can talk about bloom time and harvest. Lemon trees have a long growing season. They're gonna bloom in March or April. And then the actual lemons are not gonna be ripe until late October or even November. We are actually in late October right now. And like I mentioned before, I've already pulled a dozen lemons off of this thing and I've got plenty more uh, to harvest. And as you can see up here, I've even got smaller lemons that are forming and these probably won't be ready until about January. Now let's talk about pruning. Pruning your lemon tree is so important because it allows you to sculpt and shape the lemon tree to a very compact size so that you can grow it in your house or a greenhouse. There are three types of limbs that I like to prune off. The first type of limb that I like to prune off are shoots that grow straight up. They're vertically, they go out of control really quick. And especially I prune them off if they don't have blooms on them. The second type of limb I like to prune off are ones that are growing inwardly. So for example, if this limb here was growing back into the tree, I might go ahead and prune that off. That way I keep the inside of the lemon tree nice and airy and this is going to prevent disease and finally i just prune off limbs that are maybe growing too long even these ones down here at the bottom that are almost touching the ground i'm going to wait obviously till i'm done harvesting the lemons but later on i might cut these back just to keep the size of this lemon tree nice and compact when it comes to watering don't be scared to soak it down really good but then allow it to dry back out. Let's just say you watered it really heavy and it's been a few days and you don't know whether to water again or not. Do the knuckle test. And that's where you take your index finger, stick it in the sole up to your third knuckle. And if the sole feels moist, definitely back off. But if it's nice and dry, it's time to water again. Since I just repotted this, it's time to water this thing in nice and thoroughly and get rid of all the air pockets. Now let's talk about some potential problems you could run into. If you start seeing wilty leaves, this is most likely a sign of overwatering. You're gonna to need to back off because your tree could be developing root rot. Another potential problem you could run across is yellowing leaves. And this could actually be a result of over or underwatering. So you're just gonna to have to determine which one it is. Remember the knuckle test if you can't decide. And the final problem you could run into is your tree is not flowering. And like I mentioned before, this is probably a result of not getting enough light. So move it outside when possible. All right, this concludes everything. You, ah, this concludes pretty much everything there is to know about growing lemon trees in containers. If I left anything out and you have questions, please drop them down in the comment section. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're dropping plant content all the time, so if you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell where you won't miss another video. Until next time, become a plant person.